Amen. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. So, um, the past few weeks, really the past month in particular, I've been thinking a lot about Advent and just, what is it? Like, what is this thing called Advent that we celebrate and remember every year? And um, depending on maybe the tradition you grew up in, maybe it looked a few different ways, but after doing a little just reading and just trying to understand a little more about it, um, the thing that stood out to me the most is uh, just the word Advent comes from this word Adventus, which means coming. That's what it means, the coming or coming. And we're waiting, we're expecting, we're anticipating the arrival of our Savior. And I always thought of Advent just in this context of we anticipate the birth of our Savior because that's what Christmas is, that's what this season leads up to. And I started thinking just more about just waiting as a whole and the best things in life are worth waiting for, that saying that people often use. And I was thinking about it also in the context of it's not just waiting for the birth of our Savior, it's waiting for his return. It's waiting for that day where Jesus returns. And what does it mean to worship in the waiting? You know, how do we live in the waiting? What does that look like? And this morning as I was kind of pondering that, um, I ended up unexpectedly, or maybe expectedly, but not known to me, um, reading Philippians 2. And this is verses 5 through 11. It just says, Have this mind among yourselves, which is yours in Christ Jesus, who, though he was in the form of God, did not count equality with God a thing to be grasped, but emptied himself by taking the form of a servant, being born in the likeness of men. And being found in human form, he humbled himself by becoming obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Therefore, God has highly exalted him and bestowed on him the name that is above every name, so that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Our Savior comes to us by making himself less. He takes the form of this little humble baby. <laughs> and we anticipate that arrival, not just because that's amazing, because it is, but also because we anticipate the day that he comes back and every knee bows and every tongue confesses that Jesus Christ is Lord. And he is the name above every name. And so when I think about worshiping in the waiting and I think about anticipating Christ, I think about, I don't wanna sing songs about him being here yet, I wanna practice waiting. I wanna practice anticipating him coming. And so we're gonna sing songs like come thou long expected Jesus and we're gonna sing songs like, come thou fount. And we're going to ask him, Jesus, will you come? We want to anticipate you. We want to remember the day that you came, and we want to look forward to the day that you'll come again. So that's what we're going to work on. That's what we're going to do this Advent. We're going to practice worshiping in the waiting and just anticipating him coming again. And all that said, let's sing this song together. Just all about his worthiness, worthy of every song that sings to you. We sing worthy, worthy of every song we could ever sing. Worthy of all the praise we could ever bring. Worthy of every breath we could ever breathe we live for you Jesus the name above every other name Jesus the only one who could ever say he's worthy worthy of every breath we could ever